Good afternoon, boys and girls. This afternoon, I'm going to read Alan's Big Scary Teeth. This is one of my children's favourites at my house. So I thought I would share it with you. So, Alan came from a very long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was what he did the best. I wonder why we thought it was scary. Something to do with his teeth. Alan would start each day polishing his scales and sharpening his nails and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes a day. After practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring people. Alan went snap, snap, snap and grrrr. He said things like, I'm big, scary Alan. Fear my razor sharp teeth. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys tumble from the trees. And the parrots screech in terrible terror. Snap, snap, snap. Grrr. Eek. Ah. Ah. I love being scary. Laughed Alan. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head home back to the swamp to relax and finish his crossword in the jungle times. Here he is. He'd take out his teeth and nobody knew his teeth were false. <gasps> Here they are. Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams, my fairy snappers. Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and he came across a dozing Alan who was snoozing in the lake. Terrified that Alan might wake him up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived into a bush. <gasps> he was hiding. Phew! That was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush with a very familiar snap, snap, snap. When Alan woke up, his teeth were gone. My teeth, my teeth, where's my teeth? What could he do now? Maybe nobody would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys tumble from the trees and even the parrots screech. With laughter. Alan just wasn't scary without his teeth anymore. The animals were all laughing. Alan slunk back into the swamp. He'd never been so embarrassed. He'd came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he knew. What would he be doing now? Poor Alan began to cry. <laughs> just a bit at first. But then the tears kept coming and he howled and yowled more than all the jungle babies put together. And he could not stop crying until the next morning all the animals turned up at his swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Whoa, 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 whirly, said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. After, sorry not after, every day after polishing his scales and sharpening his nails and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser and Alan the dentist. But every night he became Alan, the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. 
I love being scary, laughed Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Goodbye.